Hi everybody, this is Jana here, welcome back. So today we're going to make a simple Italian slash American food, very popular in America, in, Ital in, in Italia. In Italy, I'm not so sure. If you know, let me know in the comments. We're going to make a baked ziti or baked penny because that's what I have here. And we're going to start by uh, roasting some vegetables because I always think of ways to make um, our food more nutritious. So we have here a medley of green peppers, onions, eggplant, yellow peppers, mushrooms, and uh, red peppers, red bell peppers. And uh, I'm going to season this with some very, very simple ingredients. You probably have it already in your house, so let's get started. First, we season with some salt. Important to season all the layers of your food. Some black pepper, Italian herbs, a good olive oil. In this case, we can use olive oil. And some balsamic vinegar. So I like to drizzle a little bit of that. And now let's mix it up. I'm gonna mix all the ingredients and I'm not gonna mix all together, which, but eventually I will <laughs> once I check in the oven because I wanna make sure that everything is covered. But for now, because it's so pretty, you know, those, these uh, rainbow colors here, everything very well coated. So now let's pop this in the oven. All right, so now that uh, the vegetables are in the oven, we're going to go ahead and make a uh, white sauce. You could call it bechamel, it's not really a bechamel, but it's a very fast and another way of making a nice uh, white sauce. We have here unsweetened uh, soy milk. You can use any unsweetened uh, plant-based milk you have. Turn the heat on, medium. And now we can go ahead and add the salt, black pepper, Nutmeg a lot. I love, love, love nutmeg. Well, I mean, to me it's a lot, but for you it doesn't have to be necessarily. And freshly ground is so much better. All right, some vegan butter, and you give it a mix. You can add nutritional yeast if you'd like to. Wait until it gets a little bit more hot. And then you go ahead and add some plain flour and uh, the same plant-based milk that I used uh, with a plain um, all-purpose flour. This is going to thicken up the white sauce. Now, when I make a uh, white sauce, I am very careful so it doesn't clump up, but because it's going to be hidden in between the layers of the baked penne or the baked ziti, and uh, so I don't get so much worried about that, but try to make it as smooth, as smooth as you can. What I'm trying to say is that don't obsess over that just now, or do, if that's your thing. All right, the important thing here is to cook the flour through so it doesn't taste like that um, drywall paste taste. I've never had that, but I imagine that it might taste like that. All right, my white sauce here is totally cooked through. So now we're gonna turn it off, set it aside, and now, and now we're going to put everything together because now my vegetables are ready. Mmm, smells so nice. Look how gorgeous. Like I said to you, eventually I was gonna mix them through. <laughs> so that's what I did. And now we're going to put everything together, the vegetables and um, the pasta to which, by the way, I forgot to mention, I have cooked the pasta halfway through. If it says, for example, in the package that you should cook for eight minutes, then you cook for four because it's going to finish cooking in the oven. So that's very important. If you cook too much, it's going to get so soft and so soggy, not so tasty. Pay attention to that. All right, so now we're going to add the pasta to the bowl, all of it. I always like to add a little bit of the pasta cooking water 
to um, this mixture because th this water is what's going to bind everything together, the pasta, the vegetables, and the tomato sauce, to which I have made in another video, click there, I have made a, a bolognese that's exactly the same sauce that I've used but without the um, vegan meat. Now we're going to go ahead and add the vegetables. And now we add the tomato sauce. Look how chunky it is. If you like your tomato sauce to be um, a little bit more smooth, go ahead and blend it. I like it to see all those uh, tiny pieces of the mirepoix that I used for the tomato sauce. All right, everything is mixed through. Now we're going to transfer to a baking tray or a baking sheet. Drizzle a little, a little bit of olive oil so the pasta doesn't get stuck. And now we gently add the pasta with the vegetables. Half of it because we're going to add the white sauce that we made. Try to flatten it up. And we add the white sauce. Half of it because the other half is going on top before this beauty here goes to the oven. Spread it. Don't worry about getting it too neat because as it cooks, it's going to melt through. Now, the other half of the pasta. And we add the remainder of the white sauce. Do you know the origins or where the baked city come from? I'm not sure. If you know, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. And then, my lovers, we are going to add some very nice vegan cheese, the one that melts. I brought this one that I have here from Norway. I will show you in a second. So we're going to add that now. Oh, let me show you the cheese. That's the vegan cheese. Go vegan, it's really, really good. If you happen to be in Norway, then buy it, because it's really good. I am going to add only four slices because this cheese happens to be really big. But you can go ahead and add as much as you like. Now, some vegan Parmesan cheese. Now, this is going to the oven for 30 minutes at 375 Fahrenheit. This time I got it right. And uh, I will be back with you. five minutes at least five minutes before serving but uh, it also tastes very good when it's uh, cold Americans uh, they love doing that uh, I used to go to this uh, shop called the vinegar factory in New York when we lived in New York and I bought that for my son and he used to eat it cold because it's also very delicious it slices up like a cake like a pie it's really nice now ask me if I waited for those five minutes that I've mentioned before. Mm -mm. But I guess you already know me, don't you? Perfect. Perfect. The combination of the white sauce with the tomato sauce, it was perfect because it created this... Um, smooth, um, not acidic, very perfect, very, very round taste. And um, I love it. I simply love it. Make it and let me know. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Check if you still subscribe because for some reason people say that they get unsubscribed all the time. Um, follow me on my social media. It's going to be written down below. Follow my website as well. It's going to be also linked down below. And have a great week. See you next time. Bye-bye.